Hello, and in this video I'd like to explain the derivative in the new calculus. Before I start this video, I have to explain the definitions of some key terms. The derivative is the slope of a tangent line to a curve. A tangent line is a line that touches a curve once, extends to both sides of it, and crosses it nowhere. Here is a picture of a tangent line, where the tangent line is the line shown in blue. So how exactly do you find the derivative of a curve? Well, let me show you with this example curve. Imagine we're interested in the derivative at this point over here, which is x along the x-axis. So the tangent line is going to look something like this at this point. We're going to create a parallel secant line. Because this secant line is parallel to the tangent line, the slope of the secant is exactly the same as the slope of the tangent line, meaning we can just focus on finding the slope of this secant line to find the slope of the tangent line. The secant line crosses the curve at these two points along the curve which is m units to the left and n units to the right of the point x respectively. This allows us to identify these points and to write a difference quotient which represents the slope of the secant line. Since the secant line is parallel to the tangent line, this difference quotient describes the slope of the tangent line as well. So that's how we find derivatives. So how do we find derivatives in practice? Well, let's use a concrete example curve described by f of x equals x cubed, which is graph looks like this. First, we're going to work with this difference quotient for a while. So first, we're going to expand everything, and then we're going to distribute the minus signs and let some terms cancel. Then we're going to rearrange the terms, factor some stuff out, and uh, write it like this. So I'm aware that this difference quotient can be simplified further, but I'd like to explain something at this point. What you're going to get is that this stuff over here is going to be some junk containing n, m, and x. And this is going to be the only term containing just x. The terms containing just x is the derivative of f, while this stuff containing n, m, and also x describes some slope difference. Because there is no slope difference, this stuff is equal to 0. And 3x squared is equal to the derivative of the function. This equation over here is called the auxiliary equation. As a matter of fact, this always happens when you simplify difference equations of functions. You're always going to get some terms including just x and some terms containing m's, n's, and sometimes also x. This stuff would describe some slope difference, but since there is no slope difference, this stuff is zero, and this difference equation just results in f prime of x. So now I'd like to explain one cool thing that the auxiliary equation can do. So here I've got the graph of x cubed, here I've got the difference quotient, here I've got the auxiliary equation, and here I've got the derivative of the function. So uh, to demonstrate what I, what I plan to show you, I need an exact point, let's say 1.2 over here. Uh, using this 1.2, we can calculate a positional derivative, which represents the slope of the tangent line at this particular point on the curve, which is 4.32. Now, now, let's say we want to find a parallel secant to this tangent line. Well, first, we're going to choose some m or n. Uh, I'm just going to choose an m of 0 0.4 over here. And using the auxiliary equation, we can find a corresponding n, which represents some distance in the other direction, which allows us to make the parallel secant. So all we need to do is solve this equation for n. Since this solution procedure is quite involved, I'm just going to feed this to a calculator, which tells me that n is 0 0.359592 and so on, which in my diagram is represented by this grey line over here. Now, if I plug this n in to this difference quotient over here, I should get exactly the same value because this is just the slope of the parallel secant line. And indeed, it is the same 